the Campbell diagram for the disk frequency analysis. Campbell diagram is very important topic for discussion as it is very useful for analysis of natural frequency with respect to exciting frequency or force frequency because with the help of Campbell diagram uh, we can protect the machine from the damage with the proper analysis so let's understand how you know the Campbell diagram is generated and uh, how the you know uh, with the help of Campbell diagram how we can analyze or how we can see whether the natural frequency has no interference with the exciting frequency and if it is there how we can protect to avoid tripping or damaging of the machine a Campbell diagram is acceptable that means when there is a no interference exists between the exciting frequency which is also called the force frequency and the natural frequency between 0 to operating speed then what is this operating speed it is defined as the speed from 0 to MCS that is maximum continuous speed please note down MCS that is maximum continuous speed is more than design speed of the wheel or impeller that means Campbell diagram is acceptable when there is no interference between the exciting frequency and natural frequency now Goodman diagram typically Goodman diagram is acceptable if the alternating, st alternating stress is not more than 2 by, two by 3 of fatigue failure stress depending upon manufacturer's guideline and then what is no dual zone no dual zone is provided to avoid running of machine at point of interference that is point of resonance for longer time so machine speed shall be ramped up to avoid running in no dual zone however if machine runs more than the predefined time machine shall be shut down by control protection system so these three are very important one is Campbell diagram when Campbell diagram is not acceptable then we should go for the Goodman analysis and there is a criteria for you know once again Goodman is not acceptable then we we'll go for the node well zone so let's understand all these three factors in coming slide now how to you know generate the Campbell diagram if you look at the diagram x x is shown as machine speed in rpm and y x is shown as frequency in hertz this is a typical case for understanding purpose now on machine speed that is x axis it is shown as a design design speed and mcs that is maximum continuous speed and uh, please note down as machine is designed for you know design speed however the mcs speed which is more than design speed machine can be run up to mcs speed without any issue or man you can say it is safe to run the machine up to maximum continuous speed that is the reason we need to consider interference up to MCS speed now this is a what are now exciting force frequency so for turbo expander typically it is taken as 1 into IGB that is the number of IGB into a speed which is in RPM divided by 60 this will give exciting frequency in Hertz similarly 2 times of IGB into a speed in RPM divided by 60 so these are considered as a exciting frequency or force frequency for turbo expander however uh, 
us for this graph it is shown for only one case that is one into rpm or into igb that is uh, one into igb only one it has shown that is for exciting frequency for understanding purpose but in real case we need to draw for two both one into and two into igb in case of compressor driven by motor or steam turbine then we have to consider not only the igb but also for dgv that is that is a diffuser guide vents similar way one into igb and two into igb similarly one to, one into dgv and two into dgb into rpm divided by 60 this will be considered as exciting frequency or force frequency which is for this case it is shown only for igb 1 into igb that is 1 into igb into a speed so with a different speed we have different uh, frequency so it's, let's say 5000 you can put 5000 if number of veins are known then we can calculate frequency exciting frequency at this speed so as the speed increases exciting frequency is also increasing that is why it is shown like this Now natural frequency and uh, natural frequency can be the, the possible natural frequency zero nodal diameter frequency one nodal diameter which is equal to two nodes two nodal diameter it is four nodes frequency three nodal diameter that is six node and so on similarly one into blade frequency two times of blade frequency and so on so but for the, in this case it has shown only one frequency that is one natural frequency but in in actual case we need to consider all possible natural frequency or relevant natural frequencies similarly one natural frequency and one force frequency is shown for understanding purpose so now in this case you can see natural frequencies above the you know it is not intersecting anywhere up to mcs with the force frequency and so we can say Campbell diagram is acceptable and so machine is safe to run from 0 to MCS speed in this case Now let us consider one case when natural frequency intersects before the design speed let's say this point so Now Campbell diagram is not acceptable because there is interference between natural frequency and exciting frequency so now we have to consider case one now we need to uh, you know analyze for goodman diagram and so case number one if the alternating alternating stress is not more than two by third of fatigue failure stress then goodman diagram is acceptable and so even though there is a you know intersection but still you uh, no dwell zone is not required because goodman diagram is acceptable that is means it is safe even though there is a intersection at this point however case 2 if the alternating alternating stress is more than two by third of fatigue failure stress then goodman diagram is not acceptable and in this case no dwell zone is required so based on the condition we need to go for no dwell zone or it is required or sometimes it is not required based on the case one or case two case now let's say goodman diagram is not acceptable and so no dual zone is required which is shown you know it is again depending upon the manufacturers how much margin is given between below and higher at the point of intersection or point of interference and so machine should be passed quickly between these two zones to avoid uh, failure if however if machine is left for you know unattended and run longer time more than the design or preset more than the you know allowable or preset time then control system program will shut down the machine to avoid damage now we have considered let's say two natural frequency and two exciting frequency and there is a two point of intersection one is below 
design speed another is a above design but below them cs so we need to consider both and again goodman diagram is analyzed and if it is not acceptable then we need to go for no dual zone logic and accordingly machine should be run to take care of you know this no dual zone so i, I hope uh, you understood uh, the basic uh, construction and understanding of uh, Campbell diagram and hope you like this. Thank you. Thank you for watching.